You guys, this is Zach with Dream Media Home Theater. We're gonna show you today how to mount a 60 inch TV over the fireplace in McKinney, Texas. You can see one of the biggest issues we have here is that the home is not wired um, for power. They ran a Smurf tube, but no power outlet. So we're gonna be installing that today uh, to bring everything up to city code. First thing is we're gonna take our tilt mount, which is the model that the customer decided to go with. And we're gonna put the brackets on the back of the TV. Then we're gonna hop up in the attic and we're gonna drop our wires down. This is a single story home um, to down the fireplace so that um, we can put our receptacle in and we'll tap off something in the attic like the service outlet. Stay tuned. So to get the correct height of the TV, what we're gonna do is measure from the top of the TV where we know the customer wants to mount the TV um, to the mounting uh, hooks and that's where we'll put our bracket. So in this situation, what do we have there, Gray? Uh, 10 and 3 fourths. About 10 and 3 quarters. So we're going to go ahead and take our tape measure and we're going to mark 10 and 3 quarters on the wall here. 10 and 3 quarters. Next step is finding your studs. Once you have your studs knocked out, then you're going to screw in your bracket. With your legs. We're gonna go ahead and uh, line up center of the mount with the center of the mantle. And then we're gonna screw it in. Uh, like Ready? Yep. So the next thing we're gonna do is grab our level and then screw our legs right in. All right, you just take your uh, hammer drill and you just screw in your legs into your studs. And most importantly, make sure that it is level. Next, we're going to take our sheetrock saw. And we're gonna cut our hole for our power outlet to come through. And since eventually he's gonna be hooking up his surround sound here, HDMI is gonna be coming out. I'm just gonna line it up for a nice uniform look. single gang hole and then Grayson's gonna hop up in the attic and shoot down the Romex. This home is uh, wired with 14 gauge, 14.2, so we're gonna use 14.2. All right, Gray, get it. So as you're making your way to the back of the attic, make sure you don't fall through like a lot of people do. Check your foot placement, and make sure you're on a solid beam uh, before you fully commit or just call us and we'll do it for you Grayson's gonna take that all the way back to the fireplace and drill a hole and shoot it down to me in the living room All right, so he just shot it down from the attic up there and uh, I'm just gonna pull it out put a box on it and throw my outlet in there Next, I'm gonna pop my outlet in. Got the back box. I'm gonna strip back our wiring. Like that. Got your, uh, your black, your white, and your common. Just because somebody on YouTube is interested in the different connection methods, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how you can do it uh, the screw terminal way. So. You can either hook it in right here, direct connect into the push pin terminals, or you can wrap it around um, onto the uh, screws. On brand new outlets, I mean, it really doesn't make a huge difference, but on older receptacles, you definitely don't want to use those push pins uh, because they can come loose, which lead to a service call. Whereas the screw terminal is a lot more reliable. But you can see the installation difference in the two is very minimal. We're talking 10 seconds. So you can pick and choose which way you prefer to do it. You 
get your outlet in there. Make sure that it's level with earth so it looks pretty like that. And you're ready to rock and roll. Get a nice outlet in there. Take your handy dandy outlet tester. Figure out which one you're, uh, you're shooting for. Kill your breaker just to make sure you don't shock yourself. You can't do it hot. You're feeling a little risky or you haven't had your coffee for the day. <laughs> and then uh, run up there and just uh, tap off uh, your outlet. Alright guys, and that's the uh, final installation of the 60 inch TV over the fireplace with an electrical outlet installed. If you guys would like us to do something like this for you and you live in the Dallas area, we would be happy to do that. Um, and if you don't live in the Dallas area and you'd like to purchase a TV and TV mounts, just give us a call or shoot us an email and we'd be happy to help you with it. Uh, make sure to subscribe down below, like, comment. Thanks for watching. This is Zach with Dream Media Home Theater.